Herod's no. Herod's no. Oh, please, no. and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and that you had a very holly jolly season, a holiday season. If you'll notice, we changed the number of the advent calendar for today. Um, that is because I did film another advent calendar. So technically this one was supposed to be 13, but that didn't work out. I filmed an unboxing video of a $300 luxury YSL beauty advent calendar while wearing my most favoritest ugly Christmas sweater. I got it at the Peddler mall for 50 cents. I love it so much. In that video, I was going to be giving away another one of its advent calendars because I somehow got two. Don't know how that happened. Um, but unfortunately, that video didn't work out very well. So now that giveaway is being held over on my Instagram. So if you guys want to pop on over there, you can be entered in to win that $300 advent calendar. And we are actually going to be doing another giveaway here soon on the channel because we hit 400,000 and I literally, I can't believe it. I, I can't. But I did want to go ahead and wrap up this advent calendar season here with my very last advent calendar. This is the most expensive calendar I purchased this year. <laughs> Did I break the table? I got this bad boy from Harrods of London. This calendar here was over 300 US dollars and the top of it's ripped. That's not the best look for a calendar that costs that much money. And I read an article somewhere that inside here is supposed to be nearly $1,000 worth of product. I have no idea what's in here. I think it's a beauty calendar of some sort, fairly certain I blacked out as I was purchasing it. Um, my guess is that it's gonna be full of skincare products that I've never heard of and cannot pronounce. If I had to just take like a wild guess about what's gonna be in here. I did also pay for shipping for this bad boy. So it was like $340 plus shipping, which was just fun for me to do. It is really pretty on the outside. It is, however, ripped right here, which just doesn't just, it just doesn't look fantastic for something I paid like almost $400 for. Um, I promise you guys there will be timestamps in the description down below because I'm sure this is gonna be super chatty. I have gone to Harrods once in London. It was quite the experience. I'm fairly certain everybody there just like knew that I wasn't exactly there to do a lot of shopping, but instead to just like gawk at all the expensive things because every item that my parents and I walked up to, we like, we did one of these real quick, like look at the tag and go, and then quickly like set it down gently and pretend like maybe we'll, we'll come back for it. <laughs> and then as we were standing in like the room with the Dior, Hermes, and Balenciaga, my mom decided she had to go to the bathroom and the place was so freaking gigantic that we just had to stand there and wait because she would be lost if we didn't just wait for her there. And the longer we stood there, the more and more suspicious the like men in black little security guards with their earpiece thingies were getting of us. My dad and I are like two of the most awkward people. I'm sure you're watching this dad and I I'm sorry. I love ya. But playing it cool like really isn't in his vocabulary so like they were highly suspicious of us. But eventually she did return. We quickly touched like all the purses and belts and things that we would never buy in our entire life. We found the only thing that we could afford in there, which was a singular chocolate bar, and then we left. So that was my Herod's experience. Anyway, the outside of this box is really pretty. It does have Herod's on it. Again, the box itself is kind of like beat up. You don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but it's kind of like crushed in here. The construction of the box itself is really nice. The little doors are really cute. Like everything's made out of nice, thick, sturdy cardboard. Oh wow. Like the entire side of my box is crushed and like the door here is splitting apart. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that at all. It is fairly disappointing when you pay that much for a calendar. Like this is something that you could put out during Christmas time. It is really pretty. Um, but it's a little bit sad to see that this whole side is kind of like crushed in. This is a 25 day I think calendar. Um, it should be expected that you're going to get 25 items if you're paying nearly $400. So let's go ahead and begin with day number one right here. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Is everything gonna come in a tiny little Herod's bag? That's adorable. I could use these as like, you know, baggies to put gifts in to give to other people, but wouldn't that be disappointing to get like a Herod's bag and then the thing inside of it is like a gift card to Chili's? Herod's no. Herod's no. Oh, please no. You can't be doing this to me. The very first thing in here, it's slightly better than the hair bubbles from Sephora. But, but it is hair ties. These are nice. I like them. I feel like they're a good size for my very, very thin hair. They're like silky, so they're probably good for the hair. Oh, they are 100% silk. Okay. Fancy hair ties. Fancy. A little bit bigger than I expected, but I could use these for my super thin hair. Regular scrunchies are just like a little bit 
chunky. Day one, scrunchies. At least, you know what? It, it can only go up from here, right? All right, day number two is next. And yes, I do think everything is gonna come in a little individual Harrods bag. It is pretty cute though. Oh, I'm actually kind of excited about this because I really, really need a setting powder. The next thing we have in here is from Hourglass. This is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I really do need a setting powder, so this is nice to get. You get two grams in here and um, Hourglass is a very fancy brand, so this is nice. Okay, three is next. This one definitely has some weight to it. Ooh, okay, the next thing we have in here is from a Sunday Riley. This is the CEO serum. I'm fairly certain this is some type of like vitamin C serum. Yes, it has a 15% vitamin C plus Phytosols, and it's supposed to be a brightening serum. I've heard really great things about this, and again, Sunday Riley is a very nice brand. All righty, four is next up here. This one is super duper lightweight. Tiny. Okay, the next thing in here is an EB little tiny Laura Mercier Rouge Essential in A La Rose. And we just have a very standard looking pink lipstick here. I don't think I've ever tried a Laura Mercier lipstick before. I guess I could go ahead and give her a gander. I have no mirror close to me, but this is shiny. Oh, that's very pink. I don't really think it's looking as vibrant on camera, but this is a pink that I really personally wouldn't go for. It's not exactly the best formula either. Maybe it's just this formulation, but it's just like kind of like bunching up on me and I can see my natural look through it. Oh, not exactly my favorite little lipstick sample here. Day number five is next. The little bags are cute. They are cute, but if it would save like 20 bucks off the advent calendar, um, I think I would be fine without getting a thousand little Harrods bags. Maybe it could have come on like the last one, day 25, whatever was the, the big special thing that could come in a Harrods bag. But like, I feel like this probably cost a lot of money and they could have taken off the price of the calendar. Okay, so the next thing we have in here looks like something that I would receive in like a Boxy Charm or an Ipsy. Uh, this is the Murad Resurgence Replenishing Multi Acid Peel. I've definitely received multiple things from Murad before in like all of my subscription boxes. I would also get even tinier once you take it out of the box. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, it is super duper tiny, but um, I mean, I guess it sounds nice. Is this a six? Must be. Okay. Oh, this one definitely has some weight to it. Okay, so this is from Augustinus Batter, but at first I thought it said Augustinus Bladder, and I was like, that's an unfortunate name. Uh, but no, Augustinus Bla ba Batter. Um, this is the face oil with TFC 8 degrees. Ooh, there's French on the outside. That must mean that it is very, very fancy and it also has 30 years of research going into it. It comes in a very nice bottle. I like this cobalt blue and like rose gold together. That's an interesting combination. Um, I'm sure this is highly expensive. I, I pretty much know it is. It's a face oil and it says Le Visage on the outside. It doesn't necessarily smell fantastic. It's just kind of like a regular oily smell with just the slightest hint of lighter fluid. Okie dokie, seven is next over here with this very F looking um, lettering, numbering. We have a tiny little cube in here. We're getting into what I assumed was gonna be in this box, which is skincare that I can't pronounce. So this is the Decorte Absolute Brightening Cream. It looks like a absolute tiny little speck of it too. Um, it's a very small box. I'm gonna assume the bottle's even smaller. How a bitty. Sample, not for sale. Who could have guessed? Oh, that smells like Pond's Night Cream. That smells like every cream that ever existed at Walmart. Okay, so here is the tiny little brightening cream. Um, it is pretty full, so that is good. All righty, moving on to day number eight here. This is something from an advent calendar that we've already opened. Um, this is the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade First Kiss. I can't really remember the lipstick shade that we got in her actual advent calendar, but it was like a super bright red. Ooh, that is a very interesting shade. This is a little bit more up my alley than this like bright pink that I'm wearing right now. It's kind of a nice, what, what, sh what shade are you? Very much so on the brown side, but it does look like there'd be enough like red to it where it's not just like a pure brown lipstick. I guess we can go ahead and test that theory. Thousands of pieces of tissue paper. 
The near top of this jar is just a little bit wonky, so this is kind of hard. I'm just now realizing there's been a knife behind me on the table this whole time. I really, really like this shade. I think the formulation of it is so much better than that Laura Mercier one. Very rich, creamy, smooth, pigmented. It definitely has enough red in it, but it also has like enough brown. I don't know. I like it. I think this is a pretty shade. Okay, number nine is going to be next. I'm sorry. This is going to be the longest video in the history of Advent Calendar unboxings. I'm going to try to move through this pretty quickly. Can't throw the little bags. They're just too cute. This also looks fairly familiar. Okay, the next thing we have in here is from Shishido. This is the Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. And if I'm not mistaken, which I very could well be because I don't really know too much about Shishido, uh, I think we actually received this in another advent calendar. This has to be the exact same thing, or Shishido just uses the same packaging for everything. Again, sample, not for sale. We have day number 10 here, which this feels very heavy. I'm wondering if this is gonna be a full size something. The next thing we have is from Fresh. This is a vitamin nectar vibrancy boosting face mask. I really like the Fresh lip products. I've tried several, several, several of them, but I really haven't tried too much of their face products. Oh, that smells very like refreshing and light. It has a vitamin fruit cock. It has a hum of fruit cocktail. Fruit complex, which I can definitely smell in there. It's super, super fruity smelling. Ochi Dochi 11 is next up here. The next thing we have in here is from NARS. This is a long wearing eye thing. Eyeliner. This is in the shade Via Veneto. And NARS is a nice brand. I am a little like surprised since it is from Harrods and they have like such luxury brands in their store that we're not seeing like a I don't know, Louis Vuitton. Does Louis Vuitton make eyeliner? Something, you know what, something like that. Like something like really, really luxury for the price of advent calendar and like the stores that Harrods represents. Not saying that NARS isn't nice or anything. NARS is definitely nice. This is just a black sharpenable eyeliner. Um, yeah. Alrighty, moving on to day number two. Was this a mistake? Well, okay, first of all, the things are not inside the little bag, which is shoved down there. And secondly, there's two of them. Oh no, okay. So what we have next here is a shampoo and a conditioner, but these are for colored hair. <laughs> so this is from Living Proof. This is the color care shampoo and conditioner set. The only thing about this is I don't have colored hair. It's been jet black, bleach blonde, aerial red. It's been many colors, but now it is just my natural color, which is this brown. I don't know. This isn't exactly useful for me personally, so. 13 is next and we are on to the second half of the calendar. Gold Fadden. Uh, okay, so the next thing we have in here is from Gold Fadden MD. Not gonna lie, the packaging on this doesn't really seem all that fantastic. At first I thought it was a chapstick. It doesn't look nearly as luxurious as this advent calendar does or um, it costs. This is the Bright Eyes Dark Circle Radiance Concentrate. Oh, that's actually good though, because today I was looking at myself in the mirror after the shower and I was like, what happened? <laughs> did, did, you, did you get punched? Moving right along here to door number 14, another little box of something. My guess is it's gonna be fancy skincare. I, I don't, actually, I don't think it is. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is from Natasha Denona. This is the Chroma Crystal Top Coat. And to me, that sounds like a nail polish, but this would be a very small nail polish bottle. This is in the shade Metal Bronze. It is a really pretty color. It does kind of have like a bronziness to it. Ooh, it swatches super, super nicely. It is very, very pretty. I do like how pigmented that is. I think it would make a beautiful bronzy eye look. So this is nice. I'm glad we're seeing some makeup in here because it is very, very skincare heavy. All right, reaching back here for day number 15. Oh, another pretty sizable box. Hopefully this is something good. Mm, it's got chandeliers on it. This has to be fancy. It smells, oh, it's perfume. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is from Maison Francis. Kirk de Jean Paris. This is the Baracart Rouge 550, and it is a perfume. I'm very. Oh, it's a candle. <laughs> it says bougie. Bougie parfumé. Okay, well, I saw that it said parfumé, and I thought that meant perfume, but in fact, it's actually. The tiniest little candle. I mean, that's very adorable. That is super cute, but it is itty bitty. <laughs> it's very, very small. It has like a building on the outside and then that same like chandelier here in between the doors. It smells like a nice like man, like a good smelling man. I was just very much so hoping it was a little bottle of perfume, but um, 
Careful. Day number 16 is next here. Another tiny little box. The next thing we have in here is from Darfin Paris. And this is some type of cleanser. It's an aromatic cleansing balm. It's a very, very small amount of it. It does have kind of like a little bit of a rosy scent, but also kind of like a minty scent. I don't know, that's just not a lot at all for a cleansing balm. I don't know how many uses you would get out of this. All right, let's see what tiny little box of skincare we have next. Oh, something different. All right. Ah, okay, so the next thing you have in here is another skincare item, but these are little album rings. This is the 111 skin. That's just what I'm going with because three skin sounds ridiculous and 111 skin is just way too much. So 111 skin under eye patches. This is a dumb expensive skincare line. So these are probably like 30 bucks a pop. They are the rose gold illuminating eye masks. So yeah, there are those. Maybe those can help out with my dark circles. Hopefully two will do the trick because I'm never buying any more because I'm sure they're very expensive. 18 is next and this is a big boy here. This one doesn't even come in a little bag. Ooh, this looks very fancy. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is from Ak Aqua di Parma Colonia. And um, I really like this little tub. Two little things in here and it's wrapped up in personalized tissue paper from Italy. So this is, we're getting into the fancy schmancy kind of stuff. Okay, so the first thing we have here is a body lotion. This does look a little bit like a sample body lotion that you might find at a ritzy hotel, <laughs> but I'm sure it's very nice. It smells pretty good. It is very, very strongly fragranced. It's super like woodsy smelling, which is interesting. And then the next Next thing we have in here, is this a tiny perfume? Let's go ahead and see what it smells like. I'm hoping it doesn't smell like the body lotion actually because that is just a little bit woodsy for me. That smells like cologne. That has a very masculine like cologne smell to it. It's very spicy, very woodsy, and just something, you know, this might be like a nice little like something to pass along to somebody else who does really enjoy those type of scents. Like this little tub though, I'm setting that out. Okay, 19 is next. This is such a long video. This feels a little bit different. It is a longer box, but it looks like we still have Oh, neck cream. Uh, skincare. <laughs> More skincare, specifically neck skincare though. Personally, whatever like creams and moisturizers I put on my face, I slap it on my neck too, but maybe I'm, I'm doing it all wrong. I'm missing out on the neck skin game. This is from Nutra Bisse. It says it's supposed to have micro lifting for your neck and decollete. Um, it's also itty bitty and it feels like it's barely full. You might be able to use this like a handful of times, a couple of times. Will you see any neck tightening within that amount of time? Likely not. 20 is next up here. It also feels like another small box of skincare. Our next item is from Guerlain Paris, which is a very expensive brand. This is the Orchid Day Imperial The Cream. Um, it's supposed to be an exceptional complete care cream. It feels like it's going to be exceptionally small though. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, look how cute. It is 0.1 fluid ounces of cream to be exact. It is very, very small. 21. Oh wow, it feels like yet another rectangular box of potentially face cream. Yeah, okay, I was off by a little bit. This is actually a serum. Uh, this is the Dr. Barbara Strum Molecular Cosmetics Lifting Serum. It says it's supposed to be like an instant lift with this, so that seems really nice. It's a fairly standard serum bottle with like frosted glass and a little squeezy top applicator. It broke. Okay. Alrighty, 23 is up next. This is a little bit heavy and it feels like a round pot or something. I don't know why I'm like gunning for La Mer so hard. I think that's probably because it's the only like really fancy expensive skincare thing I know about. Okay, this is a bee venom. The next thing we have in here is from Radial and this is a bee venom moisturizer. Is there actually bee venom in here? Is that loud? Oh my gosh, it says do not use if you have an allergy to bee stings. They're serious. I don't know if I'm allergic to bee stings. This could be fun. It has a super, super light scent to it. I'm just, I can't <laughs> bee venom. That's pretty cool. I don't know why that automatically reminds me of holes when she has that nail polish that she's infused with like rattlesnake venom and she scratches that guy with it. Oh, that's such a good movie. Oh, <laughs> back to me not being able to count. We have one, we have one. 
All right, we have a tiny little jar of some type of cream. It does feel very fancy. It has like a nice heavy gold lid to it. This is the Valmont Prime Renewing Pack. I'm sure this is a very expensive brand. It just, it just looks and feels like it. That is so fragrance. That smells like a whole bottle of baby powder. I'll add this to my pile of face cream. I am stocked to like the end of days with face cream. All right, we are moving on to day 24. So this is the day before last. We have 25 left. I'm hoping for something good in here. It feels like another square box. It would be lovely to see like another makeup item or something else a little bit different, but alas, I don't think that's what we're gonna get. So, okay. So the next thing we have in here is the Chantecali Gold Recovery Mask. And from the price of this calendar, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume it's real gold. It's just, it's pure gold. <laughs> here we have the packaging. It does look very nice and pretty. It is super, super lightweight. It doesn't look like we have molten gold on the inside of this jar. It just looks like a regular like creamy skin mask. All right, you guys, so we have made it to the last day here, day number 25. I would love to see something that wasn't a skincare item, but at this rate, I'm fairly certain that's what it's gonna be. So let's go ahead and grab the door back here. Okay, all right, it does seem a little bit heavy. Seems like a bottle of something. Feels potentially like it could be glass, a little bit cold. Okay, so the last thing we have in here is from Dr. Sabog. This is the Serum Repair Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I always hear absolutely fantastic things about hyaluronic acid and how good it is for your skin and it like retains moisture and brings in moisture. So that is nice. This does also seem like it could potentially be a full size. It doesn't seem to have like a ton of like weird ingredients or anything. So I'm sure this is a very, very nice serum. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> All right, so multiple little green bags later, we have gone through the entire Harrods advent calendar for 2020. And my my goodness, I don't know if I've ever seen so much skincare before. Yeah, I think we got three makeup items in this entire box. Uh, I'm sure the skincare is far more expensive than any of the makeup items though. So if you are just looking for like straight value, then I'm sure the skincare stuff is definitely where like the, the money's at. It's so hard to tell with skincare because like this bee venom stuff, I could put it on my face and just like, Will Smith and Hitch. It could be that kind of situation. So then this entirely becomes useless to me. I can no longer use this product and therefore the value just like falls. Overall, would I personally pay the $330 plus shipping? No. Uh, to me, that's <laughs> so much money. Oh my gosh, that's so much money. That is an insane, absurd, ridiculous amount of money. Somebody else might absolutely love luxury skincare and think this is just like the bee's knees. For me personally, I'm not really into luxury skincare that much. So this isn't my favorite advent calendar and it was ridiculously expensive. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.